using the tutorial on the requests library at real python i came up to speed incredibly fast compared to me looking on 15 different wikipedia articles and seeing too much detail or not enough detail or things that are not complete so my name is douglas ortigo i work for a small company that does power engineering <clears throat> for renewable generation and our main product is a controller for bringing in distributed energy resources um, like i said i'm pretty good at learning things and uh, i can read things pretty well but you'll notice in tech especially with when it comes to like introduction tutorials and languages there are just so many resources available it's very difficult to find things at the appropriate level for both you, yourself and your experience and like your learning style. But when I came across Real Python the first time, I was just blown away with how well thought out the pedagogy of the tutorials were, the ones that were free. Expending a little bit of your income on something that can help you do your job better and more efficiently as well as move on to other possible domains to work in so um, it just it just seemed like the return on investment was obvious real python sort of fundamental tutorials so like all the built-in objects and things like that are extremely clean quick and broken up to where you can be like okay yeah i really do understand dictionaries i really do understand mutability versus immutability um, i really do understand the function syntax i really do understand descriptors and i think that real python does that better than mo anything i've ever seen like anyone can read the documentation but it's so vast that you can sort of get information paralysis whereas like the examples in real python just give you bam oh, that's what I can do with that. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. And that makes my life easier. Uh, it made me feel confident that I could solve any problem that I came across, at least in a prototype sort of level. Like I, I wouldn't say that I, I'm comfortable calling myself a production level engineer, um, just because I've only put a few products into production and I've never come across anything that I couldn't see a solution immediately in Python, thanks to real Python. Yeah, I recommend it all the time. Uh, why would you want someone to waste their time if they're learning something? Real Python does a fantastic job of communicating the information, but they do it in a way that's like, look at how cool this is. And you get excited about it as opposed to a dictionary is an object with this property and these attributes and these callables and blah, 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 blah or um, this is what a, a multi-processing queue is, and this is what a threading queue is, and this, these are the differences, and blah, 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 which is very dry and not engaging, um, despite it being complete and potentially even somewhat terse. But the, in, the way that RealPython engages, like the presenters in the video tutorials are excited about what they're showing you, and they show you really cool stuff very quickly. There are a lot of gotchas in programming. I've never been caught with a gotcha from something that I learned in real life.